hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there Today we're looking into Cancer's Broken Heart Reading for the month of August 2021. In this message, we're going to first tap into the energies with a traditional deck here, Cancer, and we're going to look into your part of the challenge, your person's part of the challenge, what each of you can do to fix the challenge or resolve the challenge. Are there other influences? Can it be saved? And is it worth it? Clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. As well as a few cards for advice guidance moving forward. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Cancer, let's see what we can see for you guys for August 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here. Spirit for Cancer. What does Cancer need to see? For the month of August 2021, please and thank you. There's an energy here, Cancer, of no more holding back. No more holding back. I feel here you're going to come forward and express yourself, say how you feel. Um, and this could be about a, a loss, about somebody who you lost, maybe left you behind, made you feel left out. Okay. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energies here, Cancer. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, the links are all below. And Cancer, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help to set intentions for future messages. I feel like this is a family conflict, to be honest with you, Cancer, with the Ten of Coins in the reverse. And I feel here that this could be an older sibling, um, somebody that isn't being very fair. They're not being very balanced in the decisions that they're making, okay? They could even be uh, misleading, giving misinformation. And I feel here you've taken a step back from this. You've probably um, not really spoken to this person in a long time, okay? Your person, for some reason or another, it's going to resonate different with each individual person, um, is wanting to come back together, is wanting to maybe have a conversation, uh, talk it out, be family. There's a lot of unhappiness and I feel like it's resonating on both sides. You and this person are family and I feel here there's an energy that families shouldn't treat each other like this. Cancer. Okay, whether this is resonating from your energy, I feel like it's more from your siblings energy with the energy that they're presenting with that justice in the reverse. Okay, so let's clarify all of this for you guys. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Four of Wands in the reverse. Please and thank you. If you found this message has been helpful or resonating up to this point, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You're all freaking amazing. Cancer. Knight of Cups in the reverse, Tower. Okay, we're going to clarify this here too. I feel here that you withheld your emotions when it comes to a certain ending or certain disconnection. This person wasn't very privy to that information. They didn't know what was up. 
So let's clarify this Four of Cups in the reverse, Five of Pentacles, okay? Something that's happened here, something that's caused this coming forward of energy, okay? Um, for some of you, this could have been an ending, maybe a shift, transition. Maybe this person is going through a change in job or they lost a loved one, something along those lines, okay? But this is what's going to bring this, this forward. Your person here, I also want to bring attention to the Seven of Swords, okay? So they could be uh, misleading you, being deceptive about some things. And be mindful of what you say to this person because I feel like they may um, be very harsh with their words. Let's clarify the justice with the Three of Pentacles. Justice in the reverse with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person tries to exude a lot of control. Okay, that could have been why you why you walked away, you know, why you don't talk to this person. This person tries to ha control the situation or have too much control over, um, again, this is like an older sibling, okay? I do feel like there is maybe a family conflict that's going on here. Maybe this has to do with some sort of like um, inheritance, something along those lines, okay? And the person isn't being very fair about how they distribute the funds or inheritance what have you okay it's causing a lot of disruption i feel like it's not only causing disruption with you cancer but with other people as well okay let's clarify this nine of cups in the reverse two of cups in the reverse there's a lot of sadness here um between you this person but i feel like this involves more people than just this person and you cancer i feel like this is a whole family um dynamic that's not um working here okay it's almost as like there's like a disruption or a, a split in the family because of an inheritance or some some form of money okay I do feel like there is going to be a coming to terms, but I feel here, Cancer, there's going to be a need to express how this person made you feel when they pushed you aside, okay? When they, when they made you feel at loss, okay? When they left you behind. Take some time. Be strategic with how you want to proceed with what you want to say to this person. So maybe take some time and write it out. Okay, um, gain that internal clarity within yourself because it is going to be a heavy conversation. It is going to be a deep conversation. And, you know, this can make or break. There's a possibility that this can turn dark. This can turn heavy. Maybe this doesn't pan out the way you expect it to because things get hot and heated. Um, but if you are very mindful of what you say with this person, Cancer, I feel like this can turn out in a very positive way a very positive manner but you need to be very mindful about what you say and how you say it don't put any blame don't shift blame just express how this person made you feel in these moments you know and what you maybe would have liked to see done differently maybe even if it was just incorporating you in the plans something along those lines you know so let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward. Cancer, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see where this is all headed, what your person's true intentions are moving forward, the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. So cancer I feel here there is going to be a conversation it's going to be had with this person okay you need to be very practical very practical about how you proceed here okay be strategic think about it think it out what do you want to say to this person what do you want to express how do you want to express it how could you envision this conversation going how do you think this person will react to what you want to say and maybe how can you respond to kind of de-escalate the situation here 
focusing on the balance. I do feel like there is hope. There is hope in this situation for it to pan out, for it to work out. But you're going to have to be very mindful with your words because I feel like this is a very sensitive time for this person, for you, maybe both of you. That's what's bringing this together. And just being mindful um, of your words, what you say, how you say it, you know, having that understanding, maybe trying to see things from this person's perspective. You may not always agree with their side of the story, um, but definitely, definitely looking, you know, to find a common ground. And sometimes it's easier to find a common ground cancer when you relate, you know, or, you know, shed light on, look, I know that this is what you're going through, or I can understand your side of the equation, but you have to also put yourself in my shoes, you know? So let's pull a soul journey message, sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing sharing the content you guys are all freaking amazing adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn no one ever said life was going to be easy obstacles are presented to you so that you may overcome them believe that you will because if you don't believe in yourself no one else will Confidence comes to those who have succeeded in conquering adversity, and then the next hurdle won't seem so daunting. Adversity is an opportunity for you to reach out to your soul family. You're not alone in this time of challenge. If you need help, others are waiting to offer assistance. This test may have come into your life to teach you to receive rather than to give. Cancer. Something here within this situation that's calling your attention. You're being presented an opportunity to either make amends, get closure on the situation, or continue down this path, this cycle. It's an opportunity for you to grow, to learn. It's also an opportunity for this person to grow, for this person to learn. What I like to say in these times when these situations arise it's not we're not always being called to be the student cancer sometimes we're the teacher let's pull the four truths message sum up your reading thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all freaking amazing four truths message cancer is always do your best Take your life and enjoy it. You are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You are born with the right to be happy, to love, and to share your love. Just to be, to take a risk, and enjoy your life is all that matters. Take your life and enjoy it. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.